we went down to Myrtle Beach for my birthday. It was February and unseasonally pleasant for that time of year. It got up to around 84, 85 degrees. The surf had a dense fog and it was the first time I'd ever seen so much fog on the beach. We took the 20 minute walk down to the pier. The fog was so beautifully melting away and it was the perfect time to get some shots underneath the big pier rafters. Shadows so long. Lunch was at Pier 14 who has some of the best scenery and a perfect place to people watch. I had the Pier 14 salad with ahi tuna and I highly suggest it. It was amazing. Our hotel was only a mile away from the pier. The Patricia Grand was a perfect place for us to stay on the strand. And for those who have said that coconut oil is a natural sunscreen, this is wrong because by the time I got back to the hotel room, my shoulders and chest were burnt. marsh walk for waterfront dining. It's a hot spot for boaters and bikers and also families. We had a great time practicing photography and checking out all the really cool boats. You'll see many blue and white herrings here and a nod to the legendary pirates that docked here in the early colonial days. Riding the strip at Myrtle Beach with your windows down and checking out the sights is one of my favorite traditions. I've done this since I was a kid. Definitely try out this piece of joint on Ocean Drive. It's pretty epic. And at around $3 a slice, you just take it to go, cut to the boardwalk, and sit by the beach. I hope you enjoyed my day one at Myrtle Beach. There's more to come. Also, please check out my Instagram. That was my first time going to Myrtle's Inlet, and I know for sure that I'll definitely be back. Check out the websites below to check into some of the places that I talked about. <laughs>